Turning now to the forecast, we are just a few days away from seeing ridiculous levels of heat, but that is not the case right now. We have a very comfortable night in San Diego, a little cloud coverage creeping through, and our current temperatures are about where we would expect to be for this time of year. Right now, San Diego is at 70 degrees, Chula Vista and La Jolla at 69, while many of our inland neighborhoods still clinging near the 70 degree mark with Poway at 70 on the dot, while parts of our desert communities are still lingering in the triple digits. Now, look at what happens for tomorrow. Our temperatures will be similar to today, but but still, we're watching them creep up a little bit. San Diego with a high of 79. Inland neighborhoods approaching 90. El Cajon hitting 90 degrees on the dot. And other spots like Santee hitting 90. Alpine tomorrow a high of 91. But then on Wednesday, the entire county except for the coastline is going to see an excessive heat watch. It's going to start up Wednesday morning at 11, going all the way until Friday night at 8. And you can see the way the heat index is going to move. So here's what it's going to look like for tomorrow. For Labor Day, whereas we still are going to see some moderate heat risk for many of those inland neighborhoods not so much along the coast then by the time we get to Thursday and we get a little bit later in the week then we're seeing most of the county with moderate to major risk some spots with extreme risk and a lot of that is even going to extend to the coastline so I'd love to say that he's not going to stick around too long that's just not the case we have the watch Wednesday Thursday and Friday and we're gonna start cooling down by the weekend but even so it's still gonna be above average so plan on extreme heat the next seven days and make sure to stay hydrated while you are at it. Now taking a look at San Diego's seven day forecast and Labor Day sees a high of 79 degrees and then temperatures are jumping up by Friday. Friday is going to be one of the warmest days for the coastline and San Diego is reaching up to 86 degrees. It's been a little while since we've seen highs quite that high for the coastline. Oceanside hitting 89 Friday as well. Chula Vista reaching 85. Del Mar 82. La Jolla topping out at 80 degrees. Now even on the coastline again, it's the heat risk is going to creep all the way over here. And for each mornings, we are going to see a little bit of patchy fog. However, it's going to become a little more isolated as that marine layer gets shallower by the middle of the week. Now for our inland neighborhoods, here's where stuff gets significantly less fun. We're seeing triple digits for several days in a row. Labor Day, high of 91. Even then is above average. Then from then we really pick up, especially with Wednesday once that heat watch kicks in. High of 96. Thursday for inland is going to bring temperatures anywhere from 9 up to about 15 degrees above where we normally normally are this time of year. That means on Thursday, Vista gets a high of 94. Campo, triple digits. El Cajon, high of 100. Ramona is going to reach all the way up to 105 degrees. There you can see where our seasonal averages are on the right side of your screen. Needless to say, it'll be incredibly hot for the middle of the week. But even once that watch expires by Saturday, we're still looking at many places with highs in the mid-90s. Going to see more 90s for next Sunday as well. So not a whole lot of relief in sight. And a very similar situation for the mountains. They're not going to be quite as hot as what we're seeing inland, but we're still seeing 90s for six out of the next seven days. Once that heat watch kicks in, high of 92. Thursday, an extremely hot day, high of 95, and we really need to watch out for the wildfire risk because of all that vegetation that's drying out in those parts of the East County. That risk could be even higher for the deserts, and they're seeing very, very high temperatures for the next seven days. The coolest day is going to be tomorrow with a high of 108 degrees, and by the time we get to Thursday, we're going can get 115. So moving forward as Labor Day weekend draws closer and closer to a close, then the extreme heat is getting closer and closer.